Hey guys, so I'm going to be uh, showing you how to set up Betaflight 4.1 with RPM filtering. Beer Heli 32 and on Beer Heli S. This will also be a flight controller setup guide and the do's and don'ts and what to look out for. This should be fairly quick and should hopefully get through all the information. So the first thing you want to do, uh, I'll also explain the new flashing system that they've introduced because that can be quite confusing as well. So pretty much uh, you need to have show and stable releases on. You don't have to have expert, expert mode on. And then make sure you have show releases and release candidates. Then select your fly controller. Now pretty much what this means, the the thing at the end and then legacy, this is pretty much on all fly controllers. Pretty much uh, the thing at the end is the brand. So for my one, it's, it's, like, a, it's like an abbreviation for holy bro. Um, and then legacy is so pretty much what this means is that because beta fly trying to move everyone to the f722 only target which has no setup and then they give you the cli dump to put in which then puts all the default settings in so this pretty much does it by default so when you flash this it will give you a message asking do you want to apply defaults flashing either the two won't matter you'll still get the same thing i just flash this one and then just hit uh flash firmware if you're having problems getting the Fly controller in DFU mode, use the impulse RC driver fixer, that will be linked down below. Flash your fly controller, that's the first thing you're going to want to do. Uh, if you're flashing your ESCs, especially on Beer Holly S, if you're not running 4.1 on Beer Holly S, you can't actually update the firmware. Uh, if you are using Beer Holly S, you will need to be prepared to spend about 5 US dollars in order to get the, uh, the licensing. Uh, I've done that, so we'll be able to show you how to do that. So the first thing you're going to want to change is on the configuration tab if you're running this. You don't need to have a telemetry wire set up, you just need to flash the new firmware. So if you're running, so if you want to set this up on a Beer Holly 32 ESC or a Beer Holly S, this is the settings I would run. This is, if you're running an F7, you can run 8K, 8K, but considering your uh, ESC protocol is only is only dshot 300 because i don't recommend any running anything higher than that there's no point of running aka AK, and you're just putting yourself more at risk to have a failure so these are these are the settings that i would recommend i've tried them both and these settings don't really affect the quad too much in my opinion so change it to dshot 300 4k 4k i like to have reverse motors then save and reboot Then you can go ahead and turn on bidirectional D shot. I don't have telemetry on this ESC setup, so I'm not going to turn that on. And uh, even if I did, you don't need it. I will link this down below, but this is pretty much uh, a copy and paste of what you put in. Everything else I've kind of already showed you, so the only thing you need to copy and paste in here is this. So just copy this, stip it a code. Everything else is stuff we change in configuration. Hit paste, save, this will reboot your fly controller. This is changing your dynamic notch filters. Um, so there, that changes them here. I would recommend turning this stuff off. I would recommend turning these filters off. And I would recommend changing, depending on how, if, you, if your quad is fairly uh, clean, if your build's fairly clean, I would change these settings. If your build is not, uh, if your build is like fairly clean, no bent bells, you know, so if, you know, you have a capacitor and whatnot, I would recommend trying these settings. All my quads, every single one of them has run these settings and it's flown perfect. So I would try them out. These are the settings I run. 130 and 200. Now what else you can do is you can, t I like this. I like to set mine up like this. I found that. Uh, a cutoff of 20 was too high, and I was getting some really weird issues when I was trying to yaw and use a bit of pitch and roll all at the same time. So I had to download to 11 in order to do that to be fixed. I absolutely despise Demon. Uh, I don't like it at all. It does not work, and they and you used to be able to use it as D-Boost, but they uh, stopped you from doing that, because the max you can set your D-game with Demon on is like 39, 38, so that's dumb. That's how I like my D-game. Uh, this, this is all personal preference from now on. Feed forward. That's how I like my feed forward settings. I would turn on item rotation. 
and VBAC compensation as well. Those are two things I do recommend turning on. They're not necessary though. I do like them. You can copy if you like. Another personal preference thing is turning my YORP up to 35. I'm going to connect my... Uh, I prefer to connect my ESC first. I find that works the best. And then plug a battery in. Then hit read setup, flash firmware, build heli, select the latest version, hit OK. Yes, I want to flash it. It will then ask me to flash my next DSC, which then I can go OK. Make sure you do have the latest firmware selected, it will say what version you're flashing here. I've already done it, so I'm going to hit cancel. I've already flashed them all, I just reflashed my first ESC. Now there are some settings you might want to change in here. Um, usually I would up my PWM frequency to 32, but considering we're only running D-Shot 600 or 300, depending on uh, how you want to play it, I would not recommend changing any settings in here, except for your motor direction. Uh, JESC is pretty much Biohali configurator, the Chrome edition, uh, but it's been modified. So what you want to do is you want to plug in your Biohali S quadcopter. Um, and plug your battery in as well. Hit connect. Read setup. And then what you want to do is that it will uh, say license or something or flash all. And it, and it should give you a pop up. You can sign in. I don't know how to sign out of this program. So I haven't been able to, but it should give you a pop-up that you can sign in after you've purchased it and then that will allow you to license all the ESCs which I've already done then after you've licensed the ESCs you can select this go flash so after it's done flashing uh, that you're not finished so then you have to go flash all telemetry Select the latest uh, D Shot Telemetry Service 2.1. Do not select text version or whatever the or whatever the latest version is. Hit flash. This will go much much faster, and this will uh, basically how this firmware works is that it flashes a firmware and then the, this firmware runs on top of it, uh, a much lighter load firmware, and then this firmware here is the thing that sends the RPM filtering back to the flight controller. So this should pretty much work on all BLES ESCs. To ensure that it flashed correctly, now you can go down here, and pretty much what this is here now, you should have this, error should be 0%. If error is not, if error is like bouncing around at all, or if it's constantly on 100%, you have your ESC dash motor protocol setting too high. Just make sure you can spin all of them up. not have any error. If that is uh, reading zero, then you're pretty much good to go. Uh, I wouldn't recommend running DSHOT 600, but you can if you would like. Just make sure you have no error. And this CPU lowdown here is actually not correct. You want to come in here and go tasks, and then that will read your correct CPU load. Just read the one here. Read the gyro dash pair. That's the most important one. And you want that to be below uh, 50, 65 is the absolute highest I would go.